friends in the White House have the next big lie ready to go. And the next big lie is that President Obama has been very fiscally responsible and he's not a big spender. Now, if you can say that with a straight face, there is the gene that controls honesty is mission, missing from your genetic code. But I want to share with you how the Democrats came up with the newest lie in their arsenal of lies. Uh, the vice president, who is becoming more and more unhinged the longer the campaign goes along, uh, I don't know if you saw his screaming fest the other day when he was screaming and yelling about they don't get us. No, Joe, we don't. You're nuts. <laughs> the hair plugs have definitely eaten into your brain, partner. We don't get you. But uh, Biden invoked a dead senator, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, who not only uh, is a million times brighter than Biden, and a million times brighter than President Obama for that matter. But Biden and Obama will never know one-tenth of what Daniel Patrick Moynihan forgot about the operation of social welfare programs in the United States. Uh, Moynihan's defining moment, the, uh, his, his, uh, the finest piece of scholarship in social sciences in the last 50 years, defining deviancy down. Moynihan is famously quoted as saying, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own set of facts. The White House is lying, and they're specifically lying by doing the following. They don't count the first year of the Obama administration in the spending that he's done. Now, I would urge you to go to our old friend Grover Norquist and read his book, Debacle, Obama's War on Jobs and Growth and What We Can Do to Regain Our Future. I would urge you to read that and that will lay out part of the way that the uh, left in America has lied about the numbers. But first and foremost, I just wanna tell you that when you turn on MSNBC and you wonder, gee, how do I know they're lying? Their lips are moving. Uh, the essence of what has gone on is that several of the folks on the hard left have written a review of spending in the Obama administration and for the first year of the Obama administration they of course blame the first year of his administration on President Bush and they don't count that spending 700 billion dollars as part of Obama's overall spending. Now I, I have to tell you that my, one of my favorite ladies, Ann Coulter, has written a great editorial on this and the title is Figures Don't Lie, Democrats Do. Throughout the editorial, she keeps suggesting other presidents that they might blame. Well, they could blame Taft, they could blame, <laughs> they could blame Roosevelt, Teddy and Franklin, they could blame, there's any number of folks they can blame. But the underlying reality is, and you've seen this, you've seen uh, poor little Jay Carney, who's, Jay Carney looks more and more like a 12 year old wearing daddy's suit every time he's at a press conference. And I don't know if you happened to see his brain freeze the other day when he was trying to explain how it is that the president has, uh, has not spent a lot of money, but it was, it, it was wonderful to watch. The reality is year one of the Obama administration has what starts out as an $825 billion stimulus bill, the bill we referred to as the porculus. It ends up being 900 and some billion dollars. If you count the interest that we have to pay because we borrowed 40 cents on the dollar of the budget that year, it goes on forever being infinitely more expensive. It's trillions of dollars of spending. The reality is Obama comes in, the national debt's 10 trillion, today the national debt is 16 trillion, that's on Obama's plate. Fairly or unfairly, he's the president. He's at the, he's at the wheel of the ship. He's going to be blamed for it. And for Obama to say spending's gone down, I've been fiscally responsible, is just dishonest and it's disingenuous and it is a massive distortion of the facts. The president of the United States has authorized spending on a level that I have never seen in my lifetime and I'm coming up on 60. The Obamacare alone is a multi-trillion dollar new entitlement. The Porculus Bill, 900 billion plus spending. Every time you turn around, this person has a solution that takes more money out of private industry and puts more power and money into the federal government. So 
as you hear your friends on the left, and they'll all begin to talk about this, they'll all start saying, oh no, Obama is purely fiscally responsible. What you want to reply is, they cook the books to say that, and just go to the deficits. The first three years of the Obama administration have had deficits that each individually are twice as big as the entire federal debt run up from George Washington through Jimmy Carter. In a single year, the deficit under the Obama administration is twice what the total federal debt was when Jimmy Carter left office. From George Washington to Jimmy Carter, $800 billion in total federal debt. In a single year, $1.6 trillion, twice as much. Now, those are nominal figures, but you get, you get the idea here. This is a gigantic increase. And President Obama has no arrows in the quiver other than having people come in and lie for him. There's never been an analysis of a president's economic policy that took the first year of his administration and blamed it on another administration. Never. I've never seen that. So I want you to realize, borrowing the phrase from the great lady, Ann Coulter, figures don't lie, Democrats do. If you do make the mistake of turning into MSNBC, how do you know when those folks are lying? Their lips are moving. God bless you. God bless this great nation.